Hey, welcome back to the DDK CAD Technology Systems Composite Panel Builder Software Demonstration Series. And in this session, we're going to be talking about rivets and how to set them and how to use them. So first of all, let's uh, get to the main dialog because that's the first place you can actually access the rivets. So we click on rivet settings and in here you can set the layer that you want the rivets to be on, what color you want to use, whether or not you want to use uh, single or double rivets. The, uh, the settings inside here let us uh, assign unique distances from uh, inside corners, outside corners, uh, internal bends, and um, a whole series of even the spacing between double rivets when you use them. So those are all done through here. And if you use the help buttons on the right side, for example, the D setting, if you click on D, it'll say the spacing between single pilot holes or rivet holes. So um, that's this variable right here. So um, based on these settings, let's go ahead and um, also you could set your rivets either uh, using circles or points. So let's use our, our current settings and we can also, I'll show you the other location you can uh, modify these rivet settings and that's under our settings. This is where most of the um, components of the composite panel builder can be modified and for example right here is that edit rivet settings again and it's the same dialog but you easier access through there. So let's go ahead and build these panels that I've already laid out. Uh, XOO, XO1 and 2 and 2 is uh, tied to a section so we'll get a variety of, of rivet uh, scenarios. So let's go ahead and build those and we'll use our uh, draw flat panel utility. We'll go ahead and highlight the three panels that we want to draw and go ahead and draw them. So inside here we see that the one has an inside corner and that's the spacing for our rivets. The outside corners typical and then our spacing between our, our double rivets. Down down here we have the uh, the panel that has a, a fold and there's our spacing for our in, uh, fold. And also uh, one of the settings is how far off of the top edge down into the center line of the rivets you want. And there's a, a separate setting for uh, for reflective ceiling panels so that you can have them closer or further away from the edge. So based on that, let's go ahead and stage these panels and that's, we'll use our staging utility. And what we're basically doing is putting a, a wrapper around them or a border if you want to call it that. And that's our little title sheet. So now that we've already staged them, we have an option. We can say, oh, I want to modify my rivet settings. So we can do that through the, the um, settings again and come in here. And this time I really wanted to have single rivets. But now I've already staged, maybe I staged several panels and I don't want to rebuild them because I made some modifications to them or some tweaking. So I don't want to rebuild from scratch because I don't want to have to repeat that process. So in here I can just come in and say modify or update the rivets in these stage titles whenever you update the stage title. And then it's like, okay, let's do it that way. So now all I got to do is modify the stage titles and that's easy because I got a utility that says update the components and that's what these guys are. They're the components of the stage titles. So now I'm going to hit return. It's walking through all of them and now I get new rivet settings. So that's how, how easy it is. And if you did notice that under uh, draw flat panel, if I do draw another panel, let's say XO again, it'll remove that from uh, the series. But I wanted you to see up here too. There's a third location where you can actually access the rivets. So um, you can always access things just like an AutoCAD. You can always do things multiple ways through different uh, openings. So that's all I wanted to say there. So I'm going to rebuild that panel. And once I do a, a rebuild of any panel, it goes and removes it from the uh, staging area. So I don't have ever have a scenario where there's duplicate panels. So that's how you use rivets. And if you have any questions, please give me a call. I'm always around. And thanks for listening.